the end and the best teams in the NFL Mike they can win close games and they can win different style games you're not going to blow people out consistently in the NFL the league is just too good and has too much parity but the teams that are the best in one score games they're often the ones finding themselves in the best position come playoff time and this is going to be incomplete that's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively setting up a fourth down And he couldn't get that one to check up. It'll keep bouncing into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's the Minnesota offense taking the field for the first time. They're led out by the number three overall pick back in the 2018 draft. Out of USC, it's Sam Darnold. I think it's fair to say that the trajectory of his career hasn't gone exactly according to plan. But you don't get drafted as the third overall pick unless you have a ridiculous amount of talent. He's bounced around a few places throughout his career. He's had some ups and downs. But when he's on his game, he is as talented a thrower as there is in the NFL. And an impressive outing today could go a long way in making him back a full-time starter. Here's third and seven. throwing Darnold and this is going to be incomplete that's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively setting up a fourth down they told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and tell you what that's exactly what they did put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know hey all game long today you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing and even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. They do indeed snap it as they'll try and throw. You let this go deep for Jefferson. And they're going to have this all the way down inside the 30-yard line. And he's already well on his way to the Pro Bowl and very likely an all-pro selection, too. That last catch moving him past 1,500 yards on the campaign. They'll come up here first and 10. They'll give it going left. There's Henry. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones. But once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. He'll try to run for it. Taking advantage of the room to run, a gain of 19 on the scramble. It's a great job here by the quarterback keeping the play alive. You can tell once he avoided the rush and became a runner, he looked up and goes, hey, I got a path to the pylon. I might be able to score. He couldn't quite make it all the way, but he sets his guys up now and... Score. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. That is caught by the tight end, Josh Oliver. Touchdown, Minnesota. That touchdown number one for him on the year. Oh, he missed another one. Another missed extra point. Two thus far tonight. So the lead stands at 6-0 as this one is kicked off. Jones now on the return. 
And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And he's been a workhorse in the backfield this season. Right there amongst the league leaders in rushing late in the campaign. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but it will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. They'll go again with Swift. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs. Back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. Here's Williams now to throw. We're trying to set up the screen here to Swift. They get 14 out of the screen, and it's a first down. Here's Swift, and this time they are ready for it. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game at carry. It's second down. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll have more from Minneapolis after this. Second and 11. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That's to the number nine overall pick, Romo Dunze. First time they've looked his way tonight. Good time to do it. It's a first down. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Pass is caught, that's DJ Moore. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. This one caught just past the pylon. Rome Odunze, touchdown Bears. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears move out in front by a point. It's 7-6. to six. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Howell now to bring it back. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Vikings offense about ready to get going on their second possession. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. Darnold now on first and ten. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. Darnold. This one complete to Oliver. What can they do here on third down and seven? Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. And this ball incomplete on third down. So the hope is your one third down conversion from really jump starting a possession that ultimately leads in points, but. After that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. Incomplete. They couldn't get the connection on fourth. They'll wind up giving the ball over on down. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable and pass. To the goal line and in. Heenan Allen. Touchdown, Chicago. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears will take a 14-6 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Powell now to bring it back. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over. The deficit is eight. 
As this drive begins with first and ten. That's to the left side, taken in by Jefferson. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense, and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better. So now a timeout for the Vikings. That is their first. Bach will stop just under 30 seconds to go in this second quarter. Here's Darnold again. He's going to take a shot down the field. And this one is hauled in. What a grab. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Automatic first down. we go three tight ends here on first and ten. Here's Henry. Here's second and two. They'll work straight ahead with Henry. And he'll be close to a first down, a gain of a couple as they mark him just short. Third and a yard. To throw is Darnold. This is caught at two. And he'll take it on in. Josh Oliver. Touchdown Vikings. His second touchdown of this first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer. Because right now, they don't have one for this guy. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. And that is not going to work. It's incomplete. Trying to tie the game with a two-point conversion, but unable to do so. Final nine seconds of this half, and the kick is away. Jones now on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we have hit halftime here on a... And hold that thought. Let's get right back to it. We are ready for the third quarter. This is still anyone's ball game at this point. The difference is just two as we begin quarter number three. This returnable from the four. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense. And their running back set to go once more. He's had a nose to the end zone all season long. And now here in the month of December, he is the NFL's leader this season for rushing touchdowns. 45 yard line. They'll look to pick up the pace. They'll go play action with Darnold. That's caught downfield by Jefferson. And another first down. And another big Matt Eberflus disagrees with that call. Previous play and is he under has review. the challenge flag. 
that issue. Was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is not successful, and that will cost them the first of their three timeouts for the half. They'll run here. This is Ty Chandler. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You can just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. Darnold to throw on second down. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Here's a third and ten. Now, Darnold. Look at that. Slinged it across his body and connected. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. They'll run for it with Henry. He'll have a first down inside the 10. The speed on display. He's in. Derek Henry. Touchdown, Minnesota. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole as much as what hole to hit. I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Bears offense ready for their first possession of this second half. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. 18 yards on the pickup there. And a first down. First down there. On first and ten, it's Williams. This is incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down. Let's see what this call is. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. On the give, it's Swift. And the struggles in the running game continue. They take him down behind the line. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Throwing is Williams. That's complete. Some more on the right side. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. On third and a yard, it's Williams. That's caught. It's the tight end, Komet. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Now it is first and goal. So these two teams. This is almost certainly four down territory if they need them all. Touchdown extra point gives them the lead. It is first down and goal. They'll run with Swift. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And now set up second and goal. Toss right side to the tight end, Komet. And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Cole Komet, touchdown Bears. The kick is good, but there are penalty flags down. They might have made contact. 
with the kicker too late. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Dartle to throw on first down. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play, except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. And all you can do at this point, Mike, is just really marvel at how well he's been able to run the ball. And throughout the course of the game, they've certainly not been shy in giving it to him. And I think he's held up his side of the bargain. He'll run. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. They'll run here. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs. Back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. Now, a big third down. They'll drop to throw. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. A gain there of 16 yards. First down, Minnesota. Here's Darnold. Oh my goodness, they were in field goal range, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And he is going to score a pick six for the touchdown on Incentives for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Bears are going to open up the lead to eight. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but a very solid return. This is first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. To the left side here, caught by Addison. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. One knocked away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Time now becoming a factor as we get to third down. Startled to throw again. He's got a receiver. It's Addison. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. To throw again is Darnold. This one is caught by Addison. The receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistaking who it is. 
Still keeping the legs moving, somehow managing to turn that into a game. Here's a big one, this third down. Darnold. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. And he's going to pick up the Vikings first down. They managed to convert. That'll keep the drive alive. Fourth down. There's no throwing the ball away. There's no giving yourself up. If you're going to turn yourself into a runner, you got to go get it. And that's exactly what the quarterback does here. He's able to put his head down, put his body on the line, pick up the first down, and keep this drive alive. There he goes again. He tried to buy all the time he could, but when he saw that space, he quickly turned from thrower to runner, and he's able to pick up a nice gain on first down. Throwing, Darnold. That is incomplete, so the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays, that's it. Important moment here, third down and four. Darnold to throw. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. Darnold now to throw. And this will be a touchdown. They are within a two-point conversion of coming back to tie this game. The last touchdown, that was only half the battle. Now they've got to get the two-point conversion to tie this game up. Here's Henry, and he is in! We are tied! You can just tell the teams that practice these end-of-game situations. After the offense scored, there was no big hoopla. They weren't throwing themselves a parade. They immediately knew they had to go for two, get back in the huddle, get their best play call executed, and we got a tie ball game. And he's going to be taken down, and that will do it. Four quarters, no winner. Let's keep going. We're off to overtime. So, overtime coming up, not a playoff game, so a quick reminder of the rules. Each team gets one possession, unless the opening possession is a touchdown, then it's game over. Any defensive score ends the game, each team gets a couple of timeouts, and all replays come from upstairs. If the first OT ends in a tie, so does the game. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. This is fielded inside the five. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They'll start out on the ground with Henry. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second along. It's second down and 12. Looking for Jefferson deep downfield. And that one is caught. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. A give right up the middle to Henry. And he's into the end zone. That'll do it. They win it in OT. 
three. Just a great way to finish off a drive, and it was something they thought they had a matchup advantage 